unusual shape it's one of these shapes where it has a an impact just approaching the uh, whopping projects for me it's it's just a, a beautiful space it's so empowering i'm sure of this car there'll be some um quite cute little colors and that's it it's all that brightens up the road even though i've been here so many times every time i come here i notice something a little bit different i've just noticed there's these sort of like bird boxes up on the tree I have to say, on a sunny day in London, it's a, you can't help but get a little bit enthusiastic about this city. That London is about the spaces and the places in between the big tourist bits that you go to. So when I first saw the car, um, I thought, gorgeous shape. It kind of reminds me of the way that kids draw cars. So every inch of London is full of stories, and I just love it for that, and never get bored with it and um, just endlessly find new things that I didn't know, new places I didn't know, new people I haven't met. When I, uh, when I ride into work, obviously this is, um, you always go past Clapham Common. The great thing about the Common is that it just, it's the real sort of heart of the, heart of the area. It's just such a vibrant place and I think it has a level of inspiration and activity I need for the work I do. I have to say, it's been very pleasant sitting in here. This has to be one of the greatest vistas in London, the view to the left and to the right. It's very nice to be driven round through it. We are here in the heart of East London at the Truman Brewery for one of the most exciting design events of the year. It is, of course, the launch of the Cube Car. You can also have the most innocent people, the Japanese people, and the car, for them, is this kind of peaceful harmony. The uh, limits of human creativity are uh, endless. This is going to be a 21st century journey. It's something that demands attention. I mean, like, this is the, this is the ideal car for a serial killer. I fall in love with it in a kind of like, in a family sense. It, like, it brings back memories that I don't even have. I went into that uh, dome uh, womb area, the red womb, and there's a huge like LED screen. The first thing I thought was, God, I'd love to see something I was in on that. It's got to be that back window. That makes it stand apart from uh, all the other wannabe minis that are out there. We love it. It's amazing. I'm a cubist. I, I, I'm not like a, a massive car lover, but really it's like the cube is something that I really like. And, like you either love it or hate it, but I think it's great. So. much more niche or super brand than clubs in the east end of London like this one on Brick Lane. Hang on a minute, this is actually a pop-up shop and what it's really selling behind all the funky fixtures and fittings is a Nissan car. It's about being different, about standing out from the crowd. So yeah, we're, we're focusing very tightly on the type of people that we believe will, will buy this car but also allowing them to talk about the car online through social media to, to kind of get other people involved and that other people uh, discover the car that way rather than us just shouting messages at them through TV campaigns or billboards.
all got on very well in the car. Yep. So that means, you know, the environment is everything. You know? In the flash of a light. That would mean that there would be, you know, there's a good spiritual vibe. With a lack of insight. So